I'm Jay from Forest Ethics, and I'm going to tell you about Shell Oil's master plan to turn the Pacific Northwest into an extreme oil Beep. show, and what you can do right now to stop it. Okay, it's not hard to understand Shell's master plan, or why it needs to be shut down. You just need a map. The first part of Shell's master plan was to stage their new Arctic drilling fleet in Puget Sound, probably to bring in oil from Arctic drilling. But thanks to some awesome organizing, phase one of Shell's plan is dead on arrival. The second part of the master plan is an oil train terminal at the Anacortes refinery. That would mean building tank car parking there to take six oil trains. That's 18 million gallons of toxic explosive crude per week. That sounds like a lot of crude. It is. Each mile long, 100 plus car train would bring explosive Bakken crude or toxic and also explosive tar sands from Alberta, Canada or North Dakota. They come across the Rockies to Spokane, where the rail lines run right through the center of town. From there, they would travel down the Columbia River Valley along the Oregon border and then north to Olympia. Next stop, you guessed it, right on through downtown Seattle, past Safeco Arena and CenturyLink Field during games, and north along Puget Sound to the Anacortes Refinery. Remember, every town and community along the route drinking water, fisheries, and the 821,000 people living in the one mile blast zone which is pretty much as bad as it sounds, would face the threat of an oil train derailment and explosion. Also as bad as they sound. Now when they get to Puget Sound, these trains would have some great scenery because Anacortes Refinery sits on the shore of a national estuarine reserve. Yeah, I just said estuarine. That's like Latin for you shouldn't put oil trains here. Here's the deal. Shell wants to replace their oil tankers with trains and they've told people that there's basically no difference, which just doesn't pass the smell test. In February, a judge rejected Shell's attempt to sneak this plan through and required them to draft a full environmental review of their plans for Anacortes. That's where you come in. We fought ourselves into a great opportunity to tell Shell and our public officials exactly what we think of this plan for the Northwest. But try to keep it PG, okay? Bottom line is that Shell's extreme oil scheme impacts all of us. It means more potentially explodey, leaky trains in our cities and on our waterways. But Shell is on the ropes and we know how to beat them. So write to the officials in charge of the plan right now and let us keep you updated. And like and share this video. Shell no! Shell no! Shell no. Shell no.